Hey guys, what's up? Kevin AK Cubes, just AK Shout Out Zero here, and welcome to um, the la this is actually the last topic video on my least favorite and my most favorite things about Wolf. Uh, we're down to the last um, topic here. Um, and what way to finish it off with the best Star Wolf members? So, I'm actually going to talk about other characters besides Wolf himself. So, this should be interesting. Um, so, yeah, I actually sh we should get started right away, actually. Because that's really all we talk about now. So, we got number five right now. The least favorite is Andrew Oinkeny. Um, well, what what's there to say, really? It's just, it's just the slippy, ver the slippy version of the group, the team. It's like, like, he's whiny, he's annoying. It's like, he o his only history is that he's... Uh, Andros's nephew. That's it. That's all he's going for him. And he left Star Wolf to build his own empire, and that didn't turn out really well. I mean, interesting, but n n it didn't work out well. Nice try then. It's just, uh, he was... Like, he, in the first level of Assault, you fight him, and uh, he gets blown up after you beat him, and then another boss shows up, a tougher one. So that kind of left Andrew in the dust, which I could really care less about. I I didn't even know what the hell he was back then in '64. I was like, "What is he?" And then I find out later in Assault that he's actually a monkey, just like his old pop. So no, no just like his old uncle. My bad. Um, but yeah, I, I would not care at all if Andrew doesn't come back. Um, you will. He will not be missed. Trust me. So, yeah. I mean, he, I don't... Okay, number four is Pigma Dangar. Um, not as annoying as Andrew, but still pretty much on that level. At least um, his... I can tolerate his voice better. Like, he has better lines than Andrew does. And at least he has some history. Uh, he was part of the Star Fox team before, and then... Uh, the battle on Venom, Pigma betrayed James and Peppy and everyone on Star Fox, uh, and went to Andros just for money. And his greed was so strong that he that Star Fo Wolf himself pretty much kicked Pep Pigma out of the team because his greed was too much and uh, he couldn't take that shit no more. So Pigma was doing his own thing, trying to collect some bounty and money for himself, and. Um, so yeah, pretty much a rival of Peppy, and he's always mocking him and Fox about his dad dying and uh, whatnot. Uh, but don't worry, he got his comeuppance later in Assault when he died, and then for some reason he came back in command, and then but then died again. So again, someone I'm not uh, looking forward to seeing again, but you know what? I'm not going to put too much pressure on him like I did Andrew. Because, like I said, at least he's somewhat tolerable. Tolerable. Alright, number three we have is Leon Pulowski. Uh, pretty much Falco's rival. Uh, he's pretty much also Wolf's right-hand man, his second-in-command. Like, he's pretty much the most loyal uh, member of the Star Wolf team. He's been in every game, pretty much, when, where Wolf is. If Wolf is in the game, then... Leon's in that game, because you, his, um, like, it's, I really like this character a whole lot, I think he's great, like, he's smart, he's cunning, uh, he's creepy, and, like, he, he definitely plays that mind game on you, especially Falco, um, in Assault in particular, I really like the chemistry they had, um, even though we still have yet to know, like, what made this rivalry happen between Falco and Leon, they never, sh like, told us any history between them. But still, I really dig it. I love this character a lot. Great. And, um, I think he'll be sticking around to Star Wolf for a long time, if not forever. Which I'm totally fine with, and he's an excellent space pirate. No, he's an excellent, um, space pilot. Well, he's a pilot and pirate, so it's fine. Because they're considered space pirates. Uh, so... Just, um, 
Just thumbs up to Leon. I like him a lot. So, moving on to number two. Second favorite Star Wolf member is Black Panther Caroso. Just, wow, like, what a fantastic addition to the team. Like, I saw this first, I saw him the first time in the Star Fox Assault Guide, which I don't know if I still have that or not. It's buried somewhere or if I lost it, but I don't know. But, yeah, I looked at this guy, I was like, holy shit, that's a new Star Wolf member? And it looks rad as shit. It looks so classy. And then I play the game, and he and his wolfin has a painted rose on it. And that's great. That's a very nice touch to it. And his voice is soothing. It's intimidating. And it just fits him. Like, like his, he's pretty much Crystal's rival, but he he loves her a lot. So, like, he's like she's the only reason why he's still fighting. Like, he'll always try to protect her, even though they're, like, fighting in combat, and they're fighting in, in a dog fight, or a cat fight, if, if you will, at this case. Um, but, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I'm surprised Fox hasn't said anything, because I'm pretty sure he loves Crystal. Um, so, yeah, like, Panther always friends with Crystal. I, I, like, you know, the reason also I love about this guy um, like, here's the thing, like, I think, I, if not, uh, like, my favorite kind of people in games or in movies or whatever, in anime, are, like, edgy characters, and then there are classy characters, like, like, you know, my favorite Street Fighter character is, like, Vega and Soul Calibur, Raphael, like, this guy's pretty much that, alright, he's pretty literally much of Vega, in, the Star, in Star Fox Vega, we're gonna call him because he carries a rose and he's like so classy and he like flirts with like his, her, his rival his girl rival if you want to call it that I'm not sure like his Vega like rivals with Cammy and Chung Lee a lot but yeah like Crystal I don't know how she really feels about him I guess it's a mixed feeling sort of thing but Panther like loves Crystal a lot and uh I wish we can get a new Star Fox game with Panther Caroso and see him, like, more backstory with him. Because this character is so interesting. Like, I love him. He's so cool. Like, he's only been in two games, which is sad. And I'm not counting the Smash Brothers games with uh, the intermissions. Where you do that special taunt and you get conversations with them. I'm talking about, like, legit Star Fox games. Like, Assault and Command is the only ones he's in. I love Assault Panther, but they really downgrade him to Command, because he, cause he just says his name instead of just saying me, I, like, what the hell? Like, he's not an idiot. He's smart, and he's classy, and he knows how to talk. Why'd you make him say, like, Panther will shoot you down? It's like, no one can be Panther. Like, Panther will love Crystal. Like, what the hell? Okay, then. Just, yeah, just, just bring... Just bring Assault Panther back. That's what I want. I love this guy. What an amazing character. What a great addition. Alright, number one. Oh boy, what could this be? So shocked. Oh wow, it's Wolf O'Donnell. No surprise. I already, there's nothing else to say here. He's the best, man. Wolf is absolutely the best. He's the leader of the most um, badass mercenary team of all time. And sooner or later, he will take Fox down. Well, I can eat. I've already done that in Brawl, and I can just do it again in Ultimate. Just can't wait for it. Looking much forward to it. So, yeah, I'm sorry to cut this one short, but you've already known. I've already explained to every single other video, and I've explained it for it for years now. Wolf's the greatest ever. Deal with it. Alright. So, that's it. That's it for the Star Wolf members. And, uh, pretty much this whole segment here, this whole series. I really hope you enjoyed all five videos. So looking forward to Ultimate, playing Wolf in Ultimate. That's the reason why I did it, this dedication to him. And uh, before I go, I want to say that I will be playing some Brawl again. I'll be doing some videos in Brawl again, uh, like in training mode, doing some comparisons. Uh, two videos, on anyway, by the way, in comparisons. Like I'll do the Brawl one first and then the Ultimate one. So that's going to be breaking up to two parts. I don't know if I did classic mode in in Brawl yet with Wolf. 
I honestly don't know. It might be a long time if I did. But if I didn't, I'm actually absolutely going to do that. And All-Stars if I did. If um, I don't upload them, that means I probably have them on somewhere on my channel. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to do some training mode and look at Wolf's moves and Brawl. And then I'm going to do the same thing in Ultimate, so that way we can see the difference. But anyway, guys, again, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me who your favorite Star Wolf member is and why. And, um, yeah, thank you again, all. You guys are the best. Um, I'm Kevin, a.k.a. Keeps, a.k.a. Shout out to Brazil, signing out. See you guys next time. Goodbye.